General Electric Aerospace has successfully showcased a groundbreaking demonstration of a hypersonic dual-mode ramjet DMRJ rig incorporating rotating detonation combustion RDC technology within a supersonic flow stream. This test, believed to be a world first, has the potential to facilitate high-speed, long-range flights with enhanced efficiency. The experiment took place at the research center in Niskayuna, New York, where the company is actively advancing a wide-ranging portfolio of technology initiatives aimed at advancing and expanding hypersonic capabilities, which includes the development of high-temperature materials and high-temperature electronics. This effort is also supported by DARPA, the Air Force Research Laboratory, and the Missile Defense Agency. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how GE Aerospace's hypersonic dual-mode ramjet could give a big boost to the U.S. military. Let's get into the details. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Amy Gowder, President and CEO of GE Aerospace, Defense and Systems, said, As the aerospace sector sets its sights on the future of hypersonics, GE Aerospace is well positioned with the right capabilities, experience, and scale to be a leader in driving new developments for our customers. She added, The highly successful demonstration of a DMRJ with RDC is an outgrowth of our 10 plus years of RDC work, including the strategic acquisition of Innoveering that's brought leading technologies and experience in hypersonic propulsion and ramjets. She had previously disclosed this project at this year's Paris Air Show in June, but offered very limited information. Hypersonic speed is defined as anything above Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. A press release GE Aerospace provided offers key insights. The press release explains a typical air-breathing DMRJ propulsion system can only begin operating when the vehicle achieves supersonic speeds of greater than Mach 3. GE Aerospace engineers are working on a rotating, detonation-enabled dual-mode ramjet that's capable of operating at lower Mach numbers, enabling the flight vehicle to operate more efficiently and achieve longer range. The press release adds, RDC rotating detonation combustion enables higher thrust generation more efficiently at an overall smaller engine size and weight by combusting the fuel through detonation waves instead of a standard combustion system that powers traditional jet engines today. Ramjet as well as scramjet engines differ from turbojet and turbofan engines in that they lack moving components such as compressors and turbines. Instead, they depend on specifically engineered air inlets to compress the air to necessary pressure for combustion. Efficiency reaches a sufficient level only when the speed reaches at least Mach 2, owing to the elevated temperature and pressure achieved in the combustion chamber. Consequently, ramjets typically require additional methods, such as rocket boosters or, as seen in the SR-71 Blackbird, dual-cycle turbo-ramjet engines to attain the minimum speed required for ignition. As stated in the release, GE Aerospace engineers are countering this challenge with its new innovation. A dual-mode ramjet DMR, is a ramjet engine which can be operated in both subsonic 
and supersonic combustion mode. Rotating detonation combustion refers to the fact that this combustion produces a continuous pressure wave that rotates around an annular combustion chamber before being expelled as exhaust gas and accelerated through the propelling nozzle producing thrust. This is not something that can be pulled off easily and it's a state-of-the-art technology. Hypersonic technology is being weaponized. The extreme speed of hypersonic munitions and the ability to fly in unpredictable paths give them a much higher probability of penetrating modern air defenses. They are very hard to track and even harder to intercept. It is to be noted that traditional ballistic missiles also reach hypersonic speed when they descend down on the target, but they follow a predictable, predefined parabolic path which leaves scope for interception by anti-ballistic missile defense systems. There are three methods being applied to make hypersonic weapons and near-peer rivals have already deployed some. One, using a scramjet engine. Russia developed the Zircon missile with this and Project 22350 frigate Admiral Gorshkov is armed with this. Two, through the use of hypersonic glide vehicle HGV. Russian Avangard and Chinese DFZF are using this technique. 3. Using ALBM or air launched ballistic missiles. Kinzhal missile, which has been used in Ukraine, is of this type. The US military doesn't have a single operational hypersonic weapon. As stated by US DoD leaders, Hypersonic weapons are a national imperative. Michael E. White, Principal Director for Hypersonics, has said the adversaries have increasingly focused on systems that dramatically compress the timelines and the time scale of a tactical battlefield. He indicated that an American portfolio of subsonic and supersonic weapons would be found wanting in a battle. He stated that the U.S. Department of Defense DoD, has developed the hypersonics modernization strategy that accelerates the development and delivery of transformational warfighting capabilities based on hypersonic systems. As per GE Aerospace, its team is on track with its goal to demonstrate a full DMRJ with RDC at scale next year. While the US is working on many hypersonic weapons, Things haven't really worked out yet. Air-launched rapid response weapons, or AGM-183 Aero, which is a hypersonic guide vehicle, is facing technical challenges. An hypersonic attack cruise missile, or HACM, will still need time for operational deployment. Given the situation, this innovation from GE Aerospace could be a boon for the US military in the coming days. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.